Welcome back everyone, hope you're doing well. Back on the server, right about half past 10 Sunday morning. Uh, I think it's about one in the afternoon on the server. Uh, back for episode two. Now, the day the uh, update came out, I was meant to just do a little bit to my cabin, just try and get the main bit up. Um, then it was just oh, another piece, another piece, another piece, and it was about two in the morning. And um, yeah, finally got her finished. So I was going to save this bit for an extension for when I got the car, um, but I don't know how long that's going to take. No transportation on the map whatsoever, so I'm on foot. We're all on foot. It's a shame the bicycles ain't in because, um, you know, I need to be doing that to and from, from the trader to accumulate the cash. It's about 60k for a motor. Uh, so that means on foot, walk to the traders and back. So I'm trying to accumulate as many of these masks as possible to get down to get some cash. Uh, when you know I died on the stream, I was in minus 200 on my account balance, but I've since found a little bit of cash. Um, put that in the bank, so I now have 728. I've got what, 500 in there. It's not a lot. Um, that's not absinthe, by the way, that is water. <laughs> got a bit desperate. Had a nice little find in town. Um, so, yeah, it's just basically scraps. Uh, car door, I don't know why that's in there. Look at the size of the thing. Um, I also thought, yeah, maybe picking it up, running to the trader with it, but uh, it's going to take me a month or Sunday. It's nearly killed me getting it back here, just putting it in the wardrobe. I think I've got to dump that. And uh, getting it, just some bits of clothes, bits of food. And that's it. So it's been a tough old start off on foot. All right, so I'm going to head around town. Hopefully I can fill my backpack with some more generic crap. Um, hopefully smalls that I can sell. And make that journey down to the traders worthwhile. Alright, I'm just going to knock up a load of arrows before I head into town. What do we need? Right, let's get these done. Sweet, there we go. Nearly a full bag. You see, I probably would have gone around town today and then jumped on the push bike, gone to the traders and uh, started to get some cash in the bank. And uh, maybe about a week of doing that, I might have been close to getting the car. But with that being the only mode of transportation on the map at the minute, I don't really have much choice. All right, there's no puppets there. That tells me someone's been through town. I'll soon know. Once I start hitting a few buildings, I'll soon know. doing that every time I come in here to search that bag he sits on the sofa <laughs> I'll just miss it and the game sounds are so so quiet let's play it no don't need that it looks like there's a few bits spawning about so it's very very quiet on the puppet front Used to have been heaving with puppets here. Got some headphones. Uh, don't think they're really worth much. I found that chainsaw. I think they settled for a bit, but like I say, it's getting it down to the bloody traders. stuff I'd like to pick and sell. Now on the push bike, that was taking what? Mm, eight minutes, round about that time, seven, eight minutes, 10 minutes, worst tops. Now that's a long old trek. You're talking 
what fully geared going down there you're talking oh good half hour easy good half hour easy Got some puppets over that side. like it when the towns are this quiet. Yeah, I think someone's hit this town pretty recently. Yeah, no internal puppet in there. There's always one in there. Alright, see how quick I can get through this town because when there's not many pickings you need to be as fast as you can I wouldn't surprise me if Willie's been on this morning been through. Wouldn't surprise me if he's actually hit every grid square on the map. Have a lion on a Sunday morning, Willie. Treat yourself, mate. <laughs> I'd like to take clothes, not getting that much for them, plus they take up a huge amount of space. There we go, that's what I want. You know, I've seen him go as high as 800. So, you know, if you hit the traders at the right time, you've got a backpack full of those. That's a nice bit of cash. Who's lurking about? Only got the one. Oh, skinny. Come on. Don't start none of that rubbish, mate. That's how you get killed. Just get in, shoot the damn thing, and get out of there. I do love playing Sunday morning. The trouble is, is um, it's still a little bit not 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 quite with it. Let's have a drink of coffee. Oh, we got that. 
tactical square. Yeah, it only takes up the uh, two slots rather than four like these. So I think they're okay cash wise. Well, I did hit the police station, found a suppressor in there, a uh, carbon hunter on the roof. Right, I'll smash these three buildings here, these two, hit the police station, and then work my way around to the front. It is a hell of a lot of work without the bikes at the minute. A hell of a lot of work. Leather jacket. Nope. Take that. got to be nothing worse than searching absolutely every container and almost finding an item in every one. Jumped on some random server last week just for 20 minutes. I was just waiting for something and uh, yeah, it, was, it was exactly like that. Got bored after 10 minutes. This is risky. Oh, bloody hell. Oh. Uh. Oh. Shh. Oh. What are you doing, skinny? Good thing with that twig building is you don't um, need no metal resources at all for that. Nails, metal scrap. So you can really crack on and uh, get building anywhere with that. Don't have one of those. Do you want to take the nails? Oh shit! to come to another death. Just 
Skinny, you better wake up, mate. Oh, I better get the old ears on. The overall game sounds are so quiet. They've really got to ramp things up, and even then they're still quiet. It's even even more difficult to hear the damn puppets now. Padlock. Um, yeah, I'll take the cap. It should sell for a few a few hundred bucks. You got to be careful looting in these garages now. Came in the other day twice, um, was looting the benches at the back. All of a sudden, I turned around and puppets were flying in. It's like they're hearing you absolutely search everything. I'm searching puppets. Um, next thing I see, puppets come flying around the corner. I don't know if that's uh, intentional, it made them a little bit more alert, but well, it's definitely hair raising at times. Right, this is going to be a three upstairs again. All right, let's get eyes on the skinny one first. Where is he? Where is he? No, 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 no. Oh, shit, they're in the skinny one. Oh. Not good. If you miss one, just get out of there. Especially if there's no skinny one up there, because that's a one hit, and then you can concentrate on the other two. That's still doable. Two arrows in each. You just uh, you can't afford to miss one. I miss one, and then uh, yeah, get your butt out of there. It's not worth not worth it. Vicinity, bloody thing. Oh, take that. Hey, give my damn arrow. Thank you. Definitely looks like I'm gonna to have to head out of town. So I think I will hit some more buildings and get back to the cabin, sort myself out, load up, and then I'm gonna head off. Oh bloody hell, stop doing that. Come on, give me something nice, come on. Screwdriver. Don't want that backpack. Right, let's go hit the police station.
right, let's head inside. Oh look, Willie's on. Yeah, that's probably right, it's probably been around here. Alright, come on. Let me at least be able to fill my backpack this morning. Even with some smalls that I can sell. Yeah, I'll take the bobby pins. Don't have none. Alright, arrows. 15, 16, we're good. You really do need to be awake to play this game. I oh, shit you not. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Take an M9 if you got one somewhere. See, now I know if I look over my right shoulder, you've got the puppets laying in the cells. Now, as soon as you do that, they seem to wake up for some reason. As soon as you look at them, let's get straight in the cell. I'm not even looking. There we go. Move your butt, skinny. Nothing in there. I found the uh, blue biggie please backpack the other day when I was in here. No such luck this morning. If Willie's online, there's probably hardly any loot around the whole map. There never is anyway, but... Oh, what's that fella doing in there? Am I getting from here? Right. One more at the top. Right, where's all my arrows? All full of dramas, all for a box of ammo. Oh, come on, give me something on the floor up here. Cleaned out B4 completely. Oh my god. <laughs> Looks like they've dropped back in up that way, so I've got to be careful when I head up there. Suicide now, I think. I'd definitely take those. 
I only ever used to wear trainers. Not since the trench foot. Alright, let's work our way down a few buildings up here. I'm sure I hit the end one down there. There is times I'll go around and uh, I've had a I've had a backpack of stuff out, um, but yeah, that's almost generic what you get out of a town. But if you're lucky, you might find a backpack. You might find a firearm. But I'd rather that than having to leave stuff behind, you know, because you can't carry it. Oh. I'd rather take it and need it and not need it and just leave it there. But even now, if there's items I don't need, I will leave. I won't take them just for the sake of taking them. Unless, like now, it's uh, worthwhile items that I need to sell. Alright, let's see if we can hit these few buildings and uh, maybe a couple more items in the bag. Head back, load this up and uh, head out again somewhere. Hopefully try and pick a location that no one's been to this morning. drink pretty sharpish well, I can do that once I've hit these few buildings um, I don't know what they sell for I always do that shutting the door in my own face Gonna get lucky. Come on. Oh, I've been here. Oh yeah, yeah I've been here. All right, I think that's just about every everywhere I've hit. Um, them few buildings down the end. Just that little bunch around there. Hold on a minute. I'm sure I saw a puppet. Sweet, there we go. Oh, skinny, nice my showers, man. What are you doing? skew with this morning oh what the I thought he come from behind me for a minute I've got to stop wearing one earphone on one side not good such a bad habit of doing that
give me a couple more masks. I'll have a shotgun. That'll do. This is about the least puppets I've ever seen in this town. We'll take those. One of these houses in town. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give it away. They spawned a camo hiking backpack on the bed, double bed upstairs, and I've had one out the same bed, same room, same house twice. Willie had one the other day. Um, not one in there today. What are we doing? Right, I need some food. Let's um, let's trot up to town, hit those few veg patches on the way back to my cabin, drop these few bits off, and um, where am I going to head off to? Uh, I could maybe Castle in these two towns. That's probably my best bet. I think I might head up towards the castle, work my way around this town and that town. It looks like I'm going to have to uh, stop out for a few days now. So, take what I need, a little prepared. Take some nails in case I need to bury a chest out. Yeah, we're surviving now. Oh, forgot about the veg patch. All right, just let's get back, get this sorted, and I'll get myself fed and watered after. All right, dehydrated, are we? All right, let's just drink all this. I kept double checking that that was water because you know with some of the little small bugs that's been turning into you know you can still use it as a absinthe to disinfect and stuff so you've got to be careful that you're drinking water all right I have those bits unloaded I just need to knock up a sword I need to take a sword with me on my journey um, all right let's get a bit of food down me go chop down a tree grab a couple of planks I need to knock up a toolbox, so I've just got a bolt, nail, two scrap. Um, what else do we need? I can't wake up, mate. Where are you? Toolbox. Um, yep, two planks, and then I can get that crafted up. Oh, this thing is an absolute lifesaver. Got through those arrows pretty sharpish. They're disappearing very fast since this update. Right, one more of those. Actually, really good to find in the wild when you got them. Survive on those. Got some big stakes from those. Right, tree. There's a horse. That is food for many, many, many days. You look so graceful walking across there. So I've got no chance in catching that thing anyway. All right, let's chop this bugger up.
course, we need a rope. Filled it up on the way. Look up some more arrows. I've got crafting stuff in here. Let's have a look what we've got. Ah, oh, I had a toolbox. That's where it was. I thought I found one. <laughs> you idiot. Okay, never mind. Right, I've got two nails for if I need to um, craft a chest out. Right, what else do I need to take? Just a bit of food. Where are we? We'll eat that. Eat that. We shall take that. Damn, I need some meat. I haven't really got much choice. Um, I think we're going to take the old pumpkin with us. You know, things are getting desperate when you're carrying a pumpkin. Should give us a little sugar boost. Let's eat these. I need some Vit D. and then we are ready to rock it's gonna be a long old trip All right, I should have the tree branch here so let me what are you doing uh, let's think head up there head up there whatever I've got got to carry back so would it be worth therefore going to b3 looting burying a chest at least that way oh yeah that's that's the only thing i think i'm going to trot down to b3 uh loot around there stick a chest somewhere and then use that maybe if i get anything decent between hop between these fr these three places um, but one thing my strength and constitution should do alright should go up a bit quicker than before <laughs> right skinny you good food chopper arrows sewing kit sort of just a little bit nails the main thing to bury a chest um, right, let's top up the water on the way this is going to be one heck of a journey. It's going to be pretty warm, I know that. Let's get the old muscles out. Where's your t-shirt, mate? Stop and have a Jimmy Riddle. Oh, there we go, stats go. Look at that, that puffball mushroom. That and I'll boost you up big time. So if you do come across those, keep one on you. There you get 10 gobbles out of that thing. All right, I've got enough water for the journey. By the time I get down to B3, there's plenty of stuff lurking around in the woods, on the floor. Well, 
hold on, mate. You don't actually need that much water, do you, pal? Right, filled that up. There we go. Look at that. Plenty on the island. All right, so here we go. I'm going to make the long old trip to B3. Um, hopefully without any dramas. Do you think that'd be pushed by? I'll be there in two or three minutes. Now that's uh, turned into 20. All right, I'll see you when I get to B3. Oh, where did he come from? Oh, there they are. That didn't take long. I'll right, try and grab as many of these arrows as I can because um, as there is plenty of resources to get them, you've just got to be careful chopping up the damn bushes when you're out and about. Right, let's try and get up on this brow. There we go, it looks pretty clear at the minute. Fortunately, the wild numbers ain't on too high at the minute. Probably a good thing as well at the minute, when you're spending that much time on foot. Yeah, and don't really misinterpret that as low numbers means, you know, it's uh, makes it a little bit easier. What you need to do is get caught out by the one. That's all it takes. Alright, to B3 we go. Alright, I shall have a small browse just in here and uh, in that house there. Oh, look at that bag of flour. There we go. That shall keep the carbs up on the tree. Oh, look, perfect. the eggs this morning. Oh, Willie's been out and had his omelette. <laughs> right, that mask is a good few hundred bucks cash. We go look as well stocked busting for a jimmy and all okay. i like the way you can water your plants if you uh if you piss on them you can see the water capacity going up that's great that is but i had a jimmy on my fig tree and um it's looking a bit rusty <laughs> so i'm wondering whether i killed it or not you definitely would in real life, the amount of ammonia and stuff that's in your piss. Alright, weren't too bad. A bit of flour and a mask out of there. Look at that, I've nearly got my bags nearly bloody full already. I haven't even gone anywhere. Right, 
casual bumble around on a Sunday morning. Hungry already, bait. Oh boy. Yeah, most of this stuff's full of water power, so not apart from this. Oh, what have you done? You melt. What, was that? what did you eat? Oh, what the hell was that about? Was it the larvae? Was it the larvae? Must have been. Oh dear, oh dear. Let's just keep an eye on that food repulsion. That's okay. Should be able to eat all that. Right, I usually go to the other end of town and work my way through. But I think I'll start this end, as soon as I'm down here. Um, no point knocking up a chest yet, because that just means I've got to keep burying and unburying the damn thing. Check, see what the time is, and uh, oh. yeah, evening time. Wow. So I might just get a little bit of looting in through the buildings and um, pitch up a little fire. Another Jimmy, bloody hell, man! Bursting, absolutely bursting. rest and uh, onto the last push down the hill so I've got about three in-game hours before it starts to get dark down there's doors open no, that's not a good sign well, it looks like it could be another drought on my hands And like I said, it doesn't always mean that there's going to be no loot. They could have been through 25 minutes ago and the regular loot will be dropping in or the other way around. So you just don't know. There you go. See what I mean? Because I've got everything offset. That's why it works out well. And you go through, you see that, you think, oh, there's nothing here. But like I say, you never know. Thing is, I've come all this bloody way, so I have to stay here and uh, get my business done. What the hell? I'm gonna go through the window. There you go. Leggings? No, I don't want those. All right, better stop putting some clothes on because it's gonna start getting a little bit cold as we draw in towards the evening. I've got a bit of food. I shall grab a few sticks so I can lock up a fire when I get further down. Another chainsaw. I'm going to take that because I know they sell for a good bit and if I'm going to build a chest down here then uh, that's going inside so the regular loot is spawning so someone could have been down here 20 minutes ago and uh, the examiner loot in the containers will be about or maybe they just missed it and not hit every building
plenty of food around B3. So we're not going to worry about a shortage of that. So I'm saying you didn't even hear him coming, did you? He just ran towards me. Wait until he started grumbling. And then puppets are one serious threat on this server. Ooh, easy does it. I thought he was going to fly out the window then. Alright, what are we going to need for? Keep forgetting this in, I think it's in building, isn't it? Five sticks. The further you are away from home, you get killed, especially in the early days, especially you've got big backpack, a few bits. You know, you're really going to want to get back to your stuff, so you're going to be taking that thousand respawn cash. Um, yeah, and then you get into one more sticky situation. You know, you're nearly at home, um, you're reaching permadeath very, very close. Definitely been through. Oh, there's some Fred. Check that out. I need that. Right, I need to think about getting the bush chopped up before I get too far into town. Imagine running running all the way to um, back home with the uh, chainsaw. Look, only 10 kilos. That's a fifth of my entire body weight. As well as all the other gubbins I'll have on me. <laughs> I've got to get to the traders. So rather than taking this lot back home, I might as well bury it down here and then just take it to there. Um, sh oh, I left, my, I left my plastic at home. Oh, never mind. Is what it is. Right, let me go get a bush chopped. Not with that freaking thing, mate. Um, damn, we're not going to backpack. Holy crap, that thing's massive.
double checking. No, 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 bush, bush skinny. There we go. Damn that thing. Right, I'm going to hunker down and um, when it gets light, I'm going to have to knock up a chest just over there in the woods. Bury that bloody. Um, oh, we take that 10 out of 10. Bury the chainsaw and then hit town a few times. Right, let's, uh, let's get a fire knocked up. Old debris gun. Two sticks. I don't mind being out on foot constantly in the game. I I, I love it. When it comes to just doing content it makes it a little bit long windy because of the journeys between destinations is uh yeah. survival of the fittest i guess right there we go all right so we're down in b3 stats are looking good uh, i'm going to hunker down here for the evening uh, in the morning get a chest knocked up blitz through town get as much stuff as I can and then it's gonna to have to be selective take what I need down to the traders I should have bought all the masks down with me really um, that would have been a fall you see what I'm saying you've really got to think about what you're doing now even if I'd, I had the other backpack I could have carried that with me but then you got the risk of the puppets um, yes it's almost like a game of chess almost now especially without vehicles because you can jump on the bike and think right let me nip to there even if you forgot something, oh, let me nip back there. You you can't forget a thing now. So it's going to be interesting. Looking forward to uh, the next one. Definitely. It's tough. All right. Take care. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next one. Ta-da for now.